Buenas noches, Máximo. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo se encuentra? Máximo, ¿me escucha? ¿Qué tal Morena? ¿Cómo se encuentra? Good evening. Sí, le escucho. Hello. Sí, le escucho. ¿Qué tal Morena? ¿Cómo se encuentra? Ay, uh, yes. Um, I can hear you very well because right now it's raining for this place. That's why know. maybe I can hear you well. But Don't if worry. it's It's okay. I will try to speak a little bit louder because I understand it's raining around the, the country. For the reason right now, we will try to wait uh, just a minute more uh, before uh, we start. <clears throat> so I know that uh, one of our classmates Uh, maybe are on the traffic jam or having some issues to log into your <clears throat> Just wait. Meanwhile, we can make a little review that what we will see. To beginning, we will uh, listen again the video about the uh, pronunciation reduction auxiliary verbs, and we will answer uh, the section 2.5. Then we will uh, learn how uh, how to give solution to problems and in order <clears throat> to the, the recording that we will listen to them. After that, we will see a video about it with the title, What Can We Do? And then we will learn about infinity clouds and phrases. Well, guys, it's time to start. I I can see that you are at least five. Uh, with that amount, we can start the class. Okay. Remember, whatever issues that you have uh, due to the storm uh, on internet or uh, on the electrician, report through WhatsApp, please. Well, We will start with this video, guys. Just a second. I will share right now the audio and we can lost. Let's practice your pronunciation. Listen and notice how the auxiliary verbs is, are, has, and have are reduced in a conversation. Listen and practice. Fresh water is being wasted. Too much trash has been created. Newspapers are being thrown away. Parks have been lost. Okay, guys. A cool you get what was the reduction on too on much trash sentences? has been created. Lograron chicos en notar cómo se pronuncia la reducción en esta sentence? Yo sé que hay tormenta y que muy probablemente se les dificulte un poquito el audio. Pero lo pondré nuevamente. Procuren tener un poquito más de atención. And we will go again. Listen and practice. Fresh water is being wasted. Too much trash has been created. Newspapers are being thrown away. Parks have been lost. Being thrown away. If you notice this and this, it's trash and waters. Newspaper are vain. Parks have, parks have been lost. And the last one is. 
in this way. Second way. Created. Newspapers are being thrown away. Parks have been lost. Parts been lost. Okay. Do you have any doubt or question about this video? Creo que no. Chicos, ¿tienen alguna Rafi. duda o pregunta sobre el video? ¿O hay problemas con el audio todavía? Uh, no, teacher, for, not for me. Cool. We will continue with the knowledge check. Listen, exercise. I need a volunteer to read this, please. Hey, B, can you help us reading this, please? Yes. Okay, instructions. Listen to three people describe some serious environmental problems. Choose the right answer. Okay, thank you. It's time to listen, guys. Just a second is loading. <coughs> Just a second, guys. Uh, we are having some technical difficulties with the audio. I can't believe it. Listen to three people describe some serious environmental problems. Write each problem in the chart. One, Jenny. You know, I've been reading a lot about the problem of landfills, and it really has me worried. Why? Well, it seems that the easiest way of disposing of trash is by burying it in landfills. The problem is that in many countries the landfills have already been filled up, and it's hard to find places to start new ones. No one wants a huge landfill anywhere near their neighborhood. So, what's the solution? Well, there is no easy solution. But many cities are trying to do more recycling so that they can reduce the amount of stuff that goes into the landfills. Okay, guys, what is the first one? Jenny? It's weather pollution or the trimming of the sun layer or landfill. Landfill. Landfills. Landfills. Thank you. Number two. Two. Adam. I can't believe it's become dangerous to get a suntan. What is this world coming to? Well, the sun has never been good for you, but it's really dangerous now. You see, the ozone layer, which helps protect us from the sun's ultraviolet rays, has been damaged by pollution in the air. When the ozone layer gets too thin, it can cause an increase in skin cancer and other problems. But is there anything we can do to solve the problem? Sure. One of the biggest threats to the ozone layer is cars, the exhaust gases from cars. The best way to save the ozone layer is to drive less. So in many places, people are being asked to carpool. Three. Katie. Aha, uh -huh, guys. Number two. Sun layer. Exactly. The, the tiny, tiny of the oh, sun layer. Okay. Number three. Katie. You know, you always hear about air pollution, but not many people are aware of the problem of water pollution. You mean in the oceans? No, I mean polluted drinking water. It's a problem in almost every major city in the world. Almost all our rivers and lakes, where we get our drinking water from, are being polluted in some way by businesses, farms, homes, 
industries, and other sources. And even though the water most of us drink is treated, it's still not 100% pure. So what's the solution? Well, it's a complicated problem to solve. But basically what's involved is treating all waste products more carefully so that dangerous chemicals and bacteria don't get into our water supply. Okay, guys. Page 46, Exercise 5, Part B. Listen again. What can be done to solve each problem? Complete the chart. One. Okay, before continue, guys, I would like to ask him to you. In the first one with Jenny, what was the solution that Jenny provided us for the landfill problem? Or do you need to listen again? Perfect. Yes, teacher. Don't worry. It's okay. Jenny. You know, I've been reading a lot about the problem of landfills, and it really has me worried. Why? Well, it seems that the easiest way of disposing of trash is by burying it in landfills. The problem is that in many countries the landfills have already been filled up, and it's hard to find places to start new ones. No one wants a huge landfill anywhere near their neighborhood. So, what's the solution? Well, there is no easy solution, but many... No. Okay, just a second, guys, that we got a connection right now. Ok, guys, eh, lo lamento mucho que mi internet está dando las últimas debido a la tormenta. Eh, permíteme un momento mientras vuelvo a cargarlo. No problem. Don't worry. Thank you, guys. That's a first much. Listen to three. Exercise 5, Part B. Listen. Okay, just to uh, show you something, this is landfill. It's, it's similar to dumpster, but in a big size. Okay. And here we go. And again, what can be done to solve each problem? Complete the chart. One, Jenny. You know, I've been reading a lot about the problem of landfills, and it really has me worried. Why? Well, it seems that the easiest way of disposing of trash is by burying it in landfills. The problem is that in many countries the landfills have already been filled up, and it's hard to find places to start new ones. No one wants a huge landfill anywhere near their neighborhood. So, what's the solution? Well, there is no easy solution. But many cities are trying to do more recycling so that they can reduce the amount of stuff that goes into the landfills. 2. Adam I can't believe it's become dangerous to get a suntan. What is this world coming to? Well, the sun has never been good for you, but it's really dangerous now. You see... The ozone layer, which helps protect us from the sun's ultraviolet rays, has been damaged by pollution in the air. When the ozone layer gets too thin, it can cause an increase in skin cancer and other problems. But is there anything we can do to solve the problem? Sure. One of the biggest threats to the ozone layer is Hello? cars, the exhaust gases from cars. Can the you hear me? The best way to save the ozone layer is yes. to drive less. So, in many places, people are being asked to carpool. 3. Katie You know, you always hear about air pollution, but not many people are aware of the problem of water pollution. You mean in the oceans? No, I mean polluted drinking water. It's a problem in almost every major city in the world. 
almost all our rivers and lakes, where we get our drinking water from, are being polluted in some way by businesses, farms, homes, industries, and other sources. And even though the water most of us drink is treated, it's still not 100% pure. So what's the solution? Well, it's a complicated problem to solve. But basically what's involved is treating all waste products more carefully so that dangerous chemicals and bacteria don't get into our water supply. Okay, guys. <clears throat> it's over. Let me know uh, what was the solution that Jenny provided us to solve the landfill's problem. Recycling. Exactly. Recycling. Recycling. In order to try to uh, make less stuff and try to reduce the amount of stuff on a landfill. What about the ozone layer? To drive less. Mm -hmm. And ask for people to be in carpool. Our pollution try to uh, to make uh, to use less car uh, cars in order to reduce the pollution producing bar kayaks and what about the last one about water pollution it's about a problem on the ocean or is on rivers and lakes everything and drinking water all. Mm -hmm. It's in everywhere. Thank you, Brandy. And what was the solution? To try to use less chemicals. Mm. Rating better the, the <clears throat> water, the water supplies. Okay. Uh, Listen the last To part. reduce bacteria. Mm -hmm. Many places, people are being asked to carpool. Okay, listen this part. Three, Katie. You know, you always hear about air pollution, but not many people are aware of the problem of water pollution. You mean in the oceans? No, I mean polluted drinking water. It's a problem in almost every major city in the world. Almost all our rivers and lakes, where we get our drinking water from, are being polluted in some way by businesses, farms, homes, industries, and other sources. And even though the water most of us drink... Lo siento, guys. Uh, internet como que no quiere. It is okay, just for double check. Okay, uh, but the answer that she provides us is try to uh, be careful at the moment that uh, we treat with that kind of chemical. Try to not uh, place on places that can uh, damage the water around the earth or can damage the drinking water that we uh, use every day. Okay, well, well guys, that was the activity. Right now we will continue just a second. And we will continue with this part, section 2.6. In this section, participants will listen to how to give solution to problems. Right now, we already know how to express about a problem. Uh, how to spread a technical issues happen to us, etc. Right now, we will learn how to provide a solution. And to do that, it's necessary to see, oh, sorry, it's necessary to watch this video. Are you able to give solution to problems? Listen to the conversation and find out about the problem Carla and Andy talk about and what solutions they come up with. Look at all those dead fish. What do you think happened? Well, there's a factory outside town that's pumping chemicals into the river. How can they do that? Isn't that against the law? 
Yes, it is, but a lot of companies ignore those laws. That's terrible. What can we do about it? Well, one thing to do about it is to talk to the company's management. What if that doesn't work? Well, then, another way to stop them is to get a TV station to run a story on it. Yes, companies hate bad publicity. By the way, what's the name of this company? It's called Apex Industries. Oh, no. My uncle is one of their top executives. What do Andy and Carla decide to do? Wait a minute. Before we do anything, shouldn't we make sure that we've got our facts straight? Absolutely. The best thing to do is to monitor the situation. Okay, we'll stop here. Uh, before continue, okay, guys, I need to show you something. But first of all, I would like to ask you this. Did you notice something interesting in these conversations? ¿Han notado algo interesante? ¿Alguna palabra? Mm -hmm. um, can you help me? Uh, yeah, can you do like a little bigger more the screen because I'm right now on the cell phone. <laughs> okay. Lamentablemente en el video no lo puedo hacer más grande. No. No. Muy bien. Pero aquí hay un... ¿Cómo se llama? Aquí, pues. aquí hay una parte que quiero resaltar y es esta. Then another way. Esta es una forma de cómo decir otra, otra manera de another way to stop por si en dado caso nosotros estamos dando algún tipo de solución como él lo dio aquí he said ah, one thing to do about it is to talk about the company's management and he start with this one thing one thing to do we can use another time, uh, another expression, yes. Like, first of all, first of all, we have to talk up, uh, with the company's management. Muy bien. Habiendo visto esto, guys, ¿cuál creen que sea la solución o que creen que hagan ellos uh, para, para solventar este inconveniente sobre la pollution on the water? What do you think, guys? Well, the first one that they say is like a be like, a, you know, reasonable, reasonable. Mm -hmm. Is talk with the management because uh, that's the first step. If they don't understand or they don't keep attention to the um, water pollution, the second is. Uh, expose or call the news for uh, explain the problem for mm -hmm. solution. That's right. But uh, finalize the B if we finalize to watch the video, we'll find uh, what was the solution. But thank you so much. Uh, let me verify if Brandy is okay in the in the answer for this exercise. What do Andy and Carla decide to do? Wait a minute. Before we do anything, shouldn't we make sure that we've got our facts straight? Absolutely. The best thing to do is to monitor the situation over the next several weeks to see what exactly is happening. How do we do that? Well, we can take pictures of the river and even take water samples to see how bad the situation is. We can get some friends to help. Okay, and maybe I could talk to my uncle about it. Oh, no, I don't think that's a good idea. Not yet, anyway. Why not? I don't think we want to say anything to anyone until we have a clearer picture of what is going on. 
After we've monitored the situation for a while, then we can decide whether we need to have a meeting with a representative of the company to tell them what we've discovered. Okay, Carla? Okay. Did you listen to the entire conversation? If you did, tell me what Carla and Andy decide to do. Okay, guys. Uh, what Carla decide to do with his, with her friend? They decide to get uh, to get fat straight of the situation and to monitor uh, what exactly Thank happened. Thank you. Maybe you did a great job. It's true. They decide to uh, to get all the proof in order to show to the management before I speak mm -hmm. with them. Take, or... some, take some picture and... Samples of the water. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you both. I appreciate so much. And I <clears throat> I really like your active listening and girls. Right now. And let me ask it to you. Did you notice uh, something in particular in the last part of the conversations? A word, maybe that you didn't listen uh, before? Something new? Yeah, because I didn't understand the last part. <laughs> not a problem okay in this kind of cases uh, because we got an agenda and today for today I want to finalize this and start at least part of the section 3 we will continue but please listen carefully this video again after the class when there's some stop and you will be able to listen carefully and if you find any any word that is new for you and you don't understand, please let me know. Well, we'll continue with the next part. The next part is uh, this one. I need a volunteer to read this. Me. Okay, Yulisa. Okay, in this class, you will learn how to talk about solutions using infinity clause and phrases. What does it mean? Phrases. Infinity clauses. Uh huh, guys. Don't worry, it's okay. Right now, we will discover what does it mean infinity clause. And to understand, please pay attention on this. This time we'll come up with infinitive clauses and phrases to come up with solutions. Pay attention and take notes. Infinitive clauses and phrases. One thing to do about it is to talk to the company's management. Another way to stop them is to get a TV station to run a story. The best ways to fight HIV AIDS are to do more research and educate people. Let's go back and notice the expressions used on the grammar box. One thing, another way, the best ways. With these expressions, we must continue using one way plus infinitive plus is or are plus infinitive. For example, one way to help the homeless is to build more public housing. Now that you have learned to give solutions, can you think of two more for these problems? Public housing. Okay, guys, le he puesto pausa para que puedan escribir la estructura. Remember, it's one way, or it could be the other time expression that we shows on the video here. Uh, here. One thing, another one way, thing, another the best way, ways. And the best way. We can use this one plus infinity plus verbi plus infinity again. What is the infinity? Oh, wait. Well, the infinity will be two. OK. 
Okay. Infinitive plus is or are plus infinitive. For example, one way to help the homeless is to build more public housing. Now that you have learned to give solutions, can you think of two more for these problems? Remember to do it on our discussion box. Okay, guys. Do you have any question about how to use infinity? Infinity clauses and phrases? No. What about the rest? Jamie? Not for me. Señorita Moreno? Señorita Vanessa? Señor Máximo? Jansi? ¿Dudas, preguntas? Yes, teacher. Uh, infinity is two. Mm -hmm. But at infinity class, classes is different. Or it's only changed the um, one thing another way. Okay, right. <clears throat> a phrases or the expression would be one way, the best way, or another way. This will be for the first part. O sea, esa va a ser la primera parte. Luego, you will add the infinity. The infinity it would be two in this case. Example. <clears throat> then plus is for R. You can see here. But you maybe are asking to yourself, hey, but what happened with this part? Well, it's part of the infinity or it's part of the sentence. And then Again, infinity and complement. Este es uno de los ejemplos mucho más largos que han puesto en el video. Hay uno anterior que sí quería, que es mucho, pero mucho más corto. Déjame ver qué es este aquí. Aquí está. Si te fijas, aquí, one, sin, one thing to do. Aquí está el infinity. Obviamente va a venir el verbo en base form. Como vimos en el anterior que era help. En este caso va a ser do. Y luego viene una link en word. About. This is. Ahora aquí. De igual modo. ¿eh? Mira. Infinity. Base form. Infinity. And complement. confundí más. Then we have to use two infinitives. Mm -hmm. And the first part and the second the second part of the of the complete sentence. The mm -hmm. best way to find is one infinitive. And then uh, to help is the first infinitive and then to build is the second part. Mm -hmm. Okay. Try to make an example, guys. Just if we try to make an example, we will discover if we really understand this or not. Okay, using infinity clauses and phrases, try to think this one. One thing to help the homeless is, and one way to reduce feminine Fam what is how do you pronounce this? Oh my okay. Famine. 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 Okay, guys. Try to answer those examples using this structure.
¿Necesitan la estructura o les pongo nuevamente los ejemplos sobre los ejercicios que tienen que trabajar ahorita? ¿Esta o la estructura, guys? The structure. Perfecto. Structure, please. The structure is better. Okay. I will give it to you until 8.40. To share to do your example after that we will review together guys whatever that was question i will be here sorry uh example about what i'm sorry i i've been disconnecting and connecting don't worry brandy it's okay uh, it's about this one example answer or making about this one things to help the homeless kids and one way to reduce the main is, and you will use this structure. Okay. Good, whatever doubt or question, I will be here.
Okay, guys. ¿Cómo vamos? Guys. We are doing, teacher. We are doing. <laughs> How many examples? It's just one of those. And one of each one. O sea, solo uno de cada uno. ¿Necesitan más tiempo, chicos? ¿O you are very good? Need more time, please. Okay, I will give it to you three minutes more, guys. Whatever doubt or question, I will give you. Guys, como van de casi. Yes. Okay, guys, it's almost time. I need a volunteer right now. You get a voluntary? Well. Okay, Brandy, can you share your answer or your example, please? Okay, one way to help homeless is open new jobs and training them. So they will be or they can be part of the company or this company or the new company. I don't know if it's okay. And the second one? Is... Um, this is almost like that is first example. One way to eradicate the famine it uh, would be to look for source of uh, work according to the their areas. Like uh, if they have like a river or something for plant or do something, uh, that's the way that they can they can work in these areas. If they work, uh, for example, or they they live in a, in a city, uh, try to find a, a job and or or you know it's like a um this company you know like try to teach us how to learn English or another um uh, try to train the people in some areas. So they can be in, they can, um, mm -hmm. how can I say? But it's like a, we, in this moment, we are uh, learning English, so we can work as a call center or in another part or in another kind of jobs. 
That's right. I think. Thank you, Brandy. You answered are so good. And you had a good base in order to express that. Okay. <coughs> but, <clears throat> but on the structure, when you express that, you didn't use the example that we had here. Okay, you did maybe a 95% good, but the only part that was missing is two. Okay. The second infinity, remember, we had to use it. For example, in this answer, that I love the answer that you are ready to do. One way to reduce coming is to provide or to create more projects to incentivate people uh, to get more opportunities in new in new ways and new areas or new job areas. But after is in this case is another two. But you did a great job. Let me see another example. Uh, maybe can you help us? Can you? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to, to to finish the third part, but I'm I'm reading the the first part and the second part. Yeah. Okay. I was thinking about uh, garbage here in El Salvador. Mm -hmm. And one thing to do about reducing uh, garbage is to start all media campaigns to teach people what are recycled teams and how to do it. Perfect. You did a great job, maybe. Excellent. Because you use both two infinity clouds. The first one, two. And the other one is two also to express the solution. And I really like it because you didn't use the example that we had here about homeless or famine. You use another uh, problem, environment problem, that is the trash in your country. Perfect. <clears throat> okay, guys. Necesitamos a alguien más. Jancy, can you help us with your example, please? Okay, but I did uh, another thing, <laughs> another problem. You can do it, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, just let me place the whiteboard in order to help us. Let me know. Okay. Okay, one way to help the illiteracy, as it says, uh, eh, Ill <laughs> no sé. eh, eh, illiteracy, illiteracy, con double L y one T, okay. and one T. I L L I T E R A C Y. I L double L mm -hmm. another I T E R A C Y mm -hmm. literacy. Mm -hmm. Yep. Remember this Jesse. Well, One way. How do I pronounce something? We got okay. it. We translate. And we place mm -hmm. here not for you see this one is just to click here and listen illiteracy 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 okay illiteracy illiteracy again illiteracy illiteracy okay one way to reduce the Oh, one thing to help the illiteracy 
is to, to provide free education to people who can who don't have the opportunity of the education. To provide free education to people who don't have this opportunity. Good, really good. One way to first continue to help illiteracy, uh, sorry, is to the second continue and then provide free education for all the people that doesn't have. Okay, you did a great job, Jancy. Con eso ya me dan la seguridad, guys, de que sí estamos manejando el tema. Y ahorita lo vamos a poner a prueba. ¿Por qué? Porque, chan, 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 chan. Tiene knowledge check. Knowledge check. Instruction. Find one or more solutions for each problem. Okay, one way to reduce famine is to build more to train people to train people in more in modern farming methods. Methods. Thank you, Julissa. Okay, let me know who Julissa, who would be our next participant to give me the other way. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I can't hear you. Okay, can you provide me a volunteer? Can you choose someone else? Uh, maybe Morena. Morena, can you provide Hello. another solution for this problem? Okay, Oh, maybe to provide a way for people to voice their concerns. The last thing. Oh. I'm not sure. It's just one. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, the next one, Morena, help me with this one. The best way to fight HIV or AIDS is? The best way to fight? Oh, uh, maybe uh, to train people in, no, 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 no. We're well, okay. To educate people on the street, right? Right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Brandy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Brandy. And you are the next one. Brandy. <laughs> By the way. <laughs> <laughs> the answer to this, one way to stop political unrest is? One way to stop political unrest is to provide ways for people to voice their concerns. Thank you. Number four, one thing to improve air quality is? Develop cleaner transportation. Thank you, maybe. To develop cleaner public transportation. Transportation. Number five, the best way to reduce poverty is? Poverty. Start free vocational training programs. What's the meaning of poverty? Pobreza. 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 Without money. <laughs> to build more public housing. Yes, but if I ask into you guys, hey, what's the meaning of poverty? But Try to give me an explanation in English. When people don't get a job, don't, don't have money, and they don't know how to, to obtain money for people, living. People does not have money or uh, any material stuff. Or they are homeless. They are almost homeless, poverty. Okay, one thing to help the homeless is? To 
to build buy more public, more public houses. Houses. housing. Thank you. Housing. To build. To build more build. public housing. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's perfect, guys. Glad for you. <laughs> you did a great job. Until now, I can hear well because the noise of the roof was terrible all during the class. I apologize for that. It's so brilliant. It's okay. Here it was the same one. I only was watching like um like uh um without any any noise. But don't worry, it's okay. Okay, Thank guys. You. This is the last one. Instruction read the following article and try to understand it. It's understand it and as you read, it takes nouns on the vocabulary. This is just for your practice reading. Okay, we will skip this and we will be here. Okay. I remember I remember that Jamie sent us a voice note. With this one, with the precipitous reading. Jamie, are you here? No, muy bien. En no. Caso, voy a necesitar a Jancy. ¿Cuál era el, nom el número que usted escogió, señorita Jancy? 12 and 21. 12. Muy bien. Por fin se nos hizo practicar un poco. So guys, the reading. <laughs> Only had three minutes. Ah, sí, lo siento mucho. Pero al menos terminamos la sección 2 y vamos con la 3. Y recuerden, este jueves tenemos el midterm exam. No se preocupen, cualquier duda o pregunta de cualquier tema, hágamela, por favor. Cualquier tema que se cite. Ok. Mm. Ok, Jancy. And do it from this to here. Okay, será que puede ser un poquito más grande, por favor. Claro. Ah, uh, okay, ahí, ahí está. Okay, what are you doing there? He said to the tree player, tea player, whom he found settler down in silence before a collection of empty bottles is also a collection of a full of full bottles. I'm drinking, replied the tree player, with a lugubrious air. Lugubrious. Air. Lug Why are you drinking? Como? Lugubrious. Lugubrious, okay. Lugubrious. Air. Why are, you Why are you drinking? Demand the little prince. So that I, so that I may forget, replied the triplet. Forget what? inquired the little prince, who already was sorry for him. Forget that I am ashamed. The, sleep, the tea player confessed, hanging his head. Perfect. Thank you so much, Jensi. Y no haga esa, esa mueca porque lo hizo muy bien. Recordemos algo, chicos, y esto siempre lo he dicho. Cuando leamos por primera vez algo, nos vamos a trabar sin importar la experiencia que tengamos. Pueda que no nos vamos a trabar como lo hacemos ahorita. Pueda que lo hagamos menos, pero eso es parte del aprendizaje. Ahora bien, es muy bien, Jan, si tú tienes excelente pronunciación, muy buena fluencia, lo único que tienes que practicar un poco más es la puntuación. O sea, eso y ganar un poquito más de, de vocabulario. Porque, ejemplo, Esta frase se pronuncia unida. Puedes ahí pronunciarla. Ya sí. 
está. Muy bien. El tiempo es acabado. Ese se pronuncia settle down. Se pronuncia unido. Es lo único. De ahí con lo demás. Settle down. Settle down. De ahí con lo demás lo has hecho bien. Solo que procura hacer más descansos cada vez que ves las comitas y no en medio de las sentences porque ahí es donde uno hace como change the ideas. Ok, guys. The time okay. is over. Thank you. You're welcome. Eh, esto ha sido todo por la sección número 2. Vamos a comenzar la próxima, el próximo día de mañana. La número 3. ¿Y qué es lo que nos depara el destino antes de dejarnos dejarlos ir? Muy bien, guys. El día de mañana. Permítanme que se me trago. Ok, yo sé que guys. I have technical issues here. Ok, para el día de mañana nosotros vamos a comenzar con la sección 3. Si ustedes pueden avanzar hasta llegar al 3.5, estaría genial, guys. Les quiero mostrar eh, lo del sitio, que es lo que vamos a ver, pero lastimosamente la página pues, se ha caído. Está de esta forma. Así es que no se los podré mostrar. Ya está cargando. Igual, guys, no les quiero quitar mucho tiempo aparte de esto porque sé que muchos de ustedes llegan de trabajar, así convivir con sus familias y hacer tareas, así es que lo mostraré rápido. Vamos a aprender un poco sobre la intonation Falling and rising intonation in questions of choice. Also, we will learn about the would rather and would prefer. What is the difference between them and when we will use them? Also, we will get a knowledge check or two knowledge check because one will be for knowledge check to writing and the other one will be for listening. Please uh, watch uh, those three videos many times in order to try to understand the, the information. And see you tomorrow, guys. See ya. Have a wonderful night. Bye-bye. Thank you for all. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.